Hey people, Glenn here. This is a quick tutorial on Photoshop mockups. So what a Photoshop mockup is, is a way for you to create thumbnails for your store super duper duper quickly. So today we're gonna to be working on those and I guess where to find them, how to use them, and just to see how effective they really are. So let's make a start. Okay, so before we jump too far into it, let's just go through what the mockup actually is. So a PSD mockup is obviously Photoshop. We've all heard of Photoshop. It is a absolutely beautiful program. I highly recommend it for everyone watching this video. So it is essentially a document which you download from the internet. So you purchase it from some sources which I'll list in a second. And when you open up the scene, let's just say this is a wedding invite scene. So there is the scene. The product really isn't there. It's pretend, it's make-believe. You know what I mean. So the product really isn't there, it's sitting on a layer. And what the product or the PSD mockup actually means is you can double click on this layer, like so, it brings up the invite, and you can find a new invite, let's just say this one just here, we'll drag this into Photoshop, we'll pop it in the scene, hit enter, hit save, close this document, and there it is. Big difference. So essentially that is a product mockup. So if I had, let's just say 100 products to make, you could do this 100 times. It'll probably take you 10 seconds per thumbnail and you can churn them out very, very quickly. Fantastic. So we can see the speed and the power of the PSD mockup. So let's go through what we just did, but a little bit more slowly for people who aren't too familiar with Photoshop. So when you download your product mockup, which I'll show you where to download them in a sec, you go over to the Layers tab. So under Windows Layers, this will bring up your Layers tab just here. Now you are looking for your linked layer. So when we double clicked on our layer and we replaced it, this is the linked image, which has been dragged into our mockup. So we need to find our linked layer. So the linked layer should have a little linked icon just here. If you see just here, we have the link icon and we double click on it, one, two, and it brings us to the image that we need to replace. So this is the area where we find our product on our desktop or where we've saved it and drag it in over the top. So let's do that just now. So tutorial, invites, we will use, uh, why don't we use this one for now? I'm just gonna drag, and pop this one in here, like so. Now, when I dragged it in, I dragged it in between these three layers. Obviously we need to drag it to the top. There we go. And I'm gonna hit save. So I'm not gonna use any short keys this time. I'm gonna hit file. Save, that is saved now. Now I can close it using the X icon just here. So there's our document we're working with. I'm gonna close this, it's been saved, and we're done. There we go. Let's do that one more time. Double click, minimize, find our design, drag it into Photoshop, place it, I'm gonna hit enter, fantastic. And then we are going to save, file, save, and close, and we are done. That is how you use a PSD mockup. Look for the linked layer, double click on the linked layer, replace the content, save it, close it, and make sure it looks hunky-dory. Okay, so where do we download these amazing PSD mockups from? There are two sources I wanna go through today. The first one is graphicsriver.net. Once you're at graphicsriver.net, just go to graphics and scroll down to product mockups, and that'll bring you here. There are so many great product mockups to choose from. Uh, they're quite a little bit crazy, to be honest. Like this one looks like toothpaste just here. I don't know if you'd need a toothpaste mockup, but they've got it if you need it. Uh, what have we got? It looks like a carton of milk or orange juice. Uh, coins, computers, they've got some t-shirts down here. Let's just have a best, uh, best sellers now. Let's have a look at um, hot under $7. Let's have a bit of a look. View all. Book mockups, t-shirts. Oh my goodness, they got logo mockups. Yeah, have a bit of a look, some cans, um, some stamps. Wow, lots to choose from, check them out. The other one I wanted to flag was the Creative Market. So creativemarket.com, if you go to templates, scroll down to mockups, they've got a few sections here, branding, mobile and web, print, products, and scene creator. We're currently on the products tab and they have lots to choose from. So just check them out, it looks fantastic. You've also got the filter option, so we can filter by price, uh, file type, and software. 
Um, yeah, so if you just want JPEG um, mock-ups, so just the JPEG, flat JPEG, and make your own mock-up from that, you can as well, which is fantastic. So definitely check those guys out. Okay, so what happens if we cannot find a product mock-up which best suits our needs? As I say, our product is so unique, there is nothing out there for us. Well, the answer is you make your own PSD mock-up, and that's not too hard to do. The hardest part is the backdrop. For example, we've got a backdrop just here. Jess and I took this photo ourselves uh, probably two years ago. That mock-up we used earlier was one we made ourselves. You can make your own mock-up and you can make it look like whatever you want and it's rather easy in Photoshop. So let's make a start. So if you've got a backdrop, whether you downloaded one or you made one yourself with your camera or phone camera, you pop this in Photoshop to file open, put your backdrop just here and you get your product open. So file, open, find your product. So today we'll be using uh, this one just here. So we have a product open. So the step one is scroll over to your layers tab, find your product layer just here. See how it says background, it's got a lock on it. We wanna remove this because that makes things a little bit tricky later on. So double click on it, on your layer, just here in the negative space. It'll bring up this tab just here. Click okay. And that'll remove it from being a background layer. That is the first thing to do. So now that we've done this, we need to save this JPEG, because it's currently a JPEG. Go File, Save, Save As. We want to turn this into a PSD. So when you click Save As, it'll be a PSD by default. We'll call this Test. So this file is going to be a PSD file. Save and Close. And let's go to our desktop and see what we created. There it is just here. We call it test. It's a PSD. So our product, which is located just here, this is now a PSD file. Started as a JPEG, now it's PSD. We click on this and we drag it into Photoshop. So drag it back into Photoshop onto our backdrop layer and we let it go. Fantastic. So now it's placed in here. And we change the size accordingly, like so and we hit enter. Okay, so we have our design in our template and the next step is to add effects to it. So here's where you can use all your Photoshop skill if you've got it and apply effects to your layer uh, via styles, etc. But I just wanna point out, this is a working template already. Currently, this is a working PSD template. Doesn't look too nice because we don't have the drop shadows and the effects on it, but if we were to double click on our layer up here, here is our little icon from earlier. Double click, we can drag and drop various designs in here and it is a working template and I'll show you how. So go back to your designs, drag and drop like we did earlier, over the top, hit enter, go file, save, and then close this document. And there we are, as we can see it is working. So we could make templates in seconds, which is fantastic. But we're not gonna stop there, we're just gonna push it a little bit further, we're almost done. Uh, in the negative space of this layer, I would double click and go down to drop shadows and just apply a nice little drop shadow to it and adjust it accordingly. And this will, um, if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with drop shadows, it's essentially a layer style. So you just double click on your layer, scroll down to drop shadows, tick it, and also click on the heading so it gives you all the drop shadow options. I always suggest uh, with the blend mode setting it to multiply. So instead of it being, a, if I click normal, I can show you for a second, instead of it being a normal bit of flat color, like gray for example, setting it to multiply will make it see through and it'll work really nicely with the background, it normally does. So a bit of a play. Uh, drop the opacity down a little bit, move the distance in so it matches your product and then click OK. So have a bit of a play of all those settings. They're great, Photoshop's a lot of fun. So that is done. We can keep applying effects to our design. We can be as creative as we want, but we have a working PSD. So you can just finish there or you can push it further, but that is essentially how to create your own PSD mockup. That is a working PSD mockup you can use for anything you need. And yeah, I'd love to see what you create. If you create your own PSD mockups, uh, for your own products, I would love to see what they are. I'd be very, very interested uh, because they're very interesting things, PSD mockups, and they're great for business. And yeah, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you let me know. And yeah, hope you have a lovely New Year's Eve.